Hi there! You are watching a video of above ground storage tanks in industrial plants. Basically, anchor bolts are provided to resist the uplift and sliding of the tank. As with almost any static calculation, the method of calculating anchor bolts can be summarized as follows. First, all the loads acting on the tank are defined, wind, seismic, etc. Then, the parameters of the calculation are determined according to the calculation process. And finally, the resistance of the system is obtained and the anchor bolts are designed. Depending on the magnitude of the wind and seismic loads, a tank may be self-supported or supported. The parameters that help wind stand these loads are the tank weight, the liquid weight and the anchor bolts. Anchor bolts calculation is performed according to section 5.12 of the code. Storage tanks may need to be anchored due to the following reasons. Wind, section 5.11 of the code. Earthquake, sections E5.2 and E6 of the code. And internal pressure, section F7 of the code. According to section 5.12 of the code, tension in each bolt is calculated according to the equation displayed on screen, where Tb is the load on each bolt, N is the number of bolts, U is the net lifting load, table 521A of the code. The uplift load is calculated according to the table 521.8 of the code, which is shown on the screen. Once the real load on each bolt is calculated, it is compared with the anchor bolt allowable stress obtained according to the table shown. This way, the diameter and number of bolts preventing the tank from uplifting are selected. Some of the most important requirements when designing anchor bolts are The minimum number of bolts should be 4 Maximum space between bolts is 3 meters The minimum bolt size is 25 millimeters And anchor bolts must be designed to absorb possible expansion of the tank bottom result of high operation temperatures, usually above 93 degrees. Anchor bolt chairs must be designed to withstand the acting loads on the shell to bottom joint. An acceptable procedure is proposed in the IEC E1 specification, Volume 2, Part 7, Anchor Bolt Chairs. As it has been seen so far, anchor bolts are a fundamental part of this type of equipment, basically to counteract the seismic effects and the actions of the wind. A good design with a bad execution is useless. When a tank requires anchor bolts, the design of the foundation that will bear these elements is critical. The figure shows a badly designed foundation Concrete is missing to contain the loads transmitted by the anchors. It is worth mentioning that corrosion does not occur exclusively inside the tank. The material of the anchor bolts should be selected according to the corrosiveness of the environment. The figure shows a totally corroded bolt due to a poor material selection.